Yes, it is the fall, and I am standing outside in my beautiful backyard. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you're here, I'm Tara, a nurse practitioner that loves sharing easy to make recipes that are not only super delicious, but also healthy. Yes, I am standing in my backyard with the leaves falling all around me. After all, it is the fall. Today, we are continuing our fall soup series. So far, we've made a lasagna soup, a potato gnocchi soup, and an Italian wedding soup. You guys absolutely loved those videos. If you missed any of those episodes, I will link them in the description box below so you can check them out afterwards. Today, we are making pumpkin curry soup. I am so excited about today's recipe. It is so good. If you don't like curry, try this soup. If you don't like pumpkin, try this soup. It is so incredibly delicious. I have a few tricks up my sleeve today to add extra protein to this dish you don't wanna miss. Be sure you stay all the way through the end of the video. I know you guys love those recipe cards. There's a recipe card at the end you could take a screenshot of for easy reference. If you're excited for Instant Pot soups, give this video a big thumbs up, grab your Instant Pot, and let's make this really easy recipe. We're gonna start with our aromatics. So I've got this red onion. I'm only using part of this red onion because it's so large. If you get a regular red onion, it should be the perfect size. Alternatively, you can use shallots. And we're not looking to finely dice this because it's gonna be pureed at the end. You just really need to just roughly chop it. Then you're gonna set it aside and grab your garlic. And I like to smash the garlic down a little bit with my knife. This helps the skins to come off so much more easily. And just like with the onion, we're gonna roughly chop it and set that aside. Then we're gonna grab our ginger. Guys, if you're not a fan of ginger, trust me, try it in this recipe. It's not gonna be too intense and it really is gonna add to the flavor. Remove the skins and then we're gonna roughly chop this. And then we're gonna place this in a little bowl and set this aside. Then you're gonna grab your Instant Pot. I'm drinking this delicious dry red. Set it to saute on high and when hot, add in some avocado oil or coconut oil or vegetable oil, any kind of neutral oil. I love this hack. Pick up the liner, swirl it around, and makes it so easy. Add in those red onions when it's hot. Give it about a one to two minute head start. And then we're gonna add in the garlic. Give that about a 20 to 30 second head start. And then we're gonna throw in that ginger. Mix it really well, and then we're gonna grab our yellow curry paste. I'm gonna use yellow curry paste. I picked this up from Thrive Market. You can use any type of yellow curry paste that you like. Alternatively, you could use a red curry paste. That's gonna add a little bit more heat to the dish and also change the color a little bit. So just keep that in mind, but use whatever you like. Add that curry paste right on in. Give everything a good stir, and then we're gonna add in our dried spices. I love to add the dried spices now because it really brings out the aroma by toasting them up like this. Then we're gonna grab some red lentils. That's right, red lentils. This is gonna ramp up the protein, make this soup so incredibly thick and creamy. Guys, you're not even gonna know the lentils are in there. Trust me guys, you won't even know these lentils are in there. Then we're gonna grab our pumpkin. This is two cans of pumpkin. Add it right on in. And stir all of this together. And then next, we're gonna add in our broth and I'm using garlic broth. I love using garlic better than bouillon because it adds so much flavor to the soup. Alternatively, you could use like a veggie stock or whatever kind of stock that you like, but if you have garlic better than bouillon, I highly recommend giving it a try today. Add that broth right on in, and this is the time, guys, when we're gonna really deglaze the bottom of the pot. This is very important. You have to deglaze the bottom of the pot so nothing is burned on the bottom. Do not skip this step. Next, we're gonna add some water. 
Stir that together, and then we're gonna add some kefir lime leaves. I picked up these kefir lime leaves at my local international store. If you don't have access to this, you might be able to pick it up on Amazon, which I have done before, although I haven't been able to find it recently on Amazon, but you could give it a try. Alternatively, zest in some lime and it will still turn out so good. Add them right on in and using your spoon, just push them underneath the liquid. Then you're gonna grab your lid and make sure the silicone ring is on. Close the lid, hit press cancel on the Instant Pot, set it to high pressure for 15 minutes. We do not need a natural pressure release, so we can perform a quick release. When the pin drops, open the lid. Then we're gonna fish out those kefir lime leaves. And we're gonna grab our immersion blender. I'm gonna use my immersion blender because that way I don't have to dirty anything else and it's so easy. And yes, I'm gonna do it right inside of the Instant Pot. Alternatively, you can transfer it to a blender or a food processor. Just make sure that you do it in batches if that's the way that you're doing it. An immersion blender makes it so easy. You can blend it as much or as little as you like. I like it for it to be pretty pureed. Then we're gonna add in our coconut milk. I highly recommend using full fat coconut milk here. And we're gonna ladle it into our bowls, add a little bit more coconut milk, some pumpkin seeds. Here I brought it to work and I actually added some basmati brown rice to it. It was so delicious. I love how you can add so many different things to the soup. Like here I added some cheese tortellini and some air fried chickpeas. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this recipe. If you enjoyed today's super easy recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. That way I'll know to make more recipes like it. I also would love to know what ideas do you have for a future episode? Drop them in the comments below. Looking for more Instant Pot soups? Click the playlist on the screen and I will see you over there. Bye guys.